Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using a bunch of new makeup products, putting them to the test. If you guys are interested, then let's go ahead and have fun. In and with my LA Girl Pro Primer to go ahead and prime up my eyelids for my shadow. I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow first today. So so for my eye look today, I was feeling a little bit more smoky and a little bit darker, so I'm going to be taking the new Smashbox Cover Shop palette, and this is in the Smoky Eye Palette style. I do have a few of these, and I love the pigmentation of the shadows. It's somewhat new for me, and I'm obsessed. So I'm taking this light brown shade as a transition on this Sigma blending brush, and I'm just going to be blending that into my crease through the inner and outer portion, and just kind of like fluffing it out just to get a nice base down, I guess you can say, on my lid. Now taking this kind of silvery, kind of greenish shade called Rock Me from this palette, I'm going to be spritzing my brush with some MAC Fix Plus to get the color really intensified and I'm going to be putting it onto my lid space. Now this color I really thought was like more silver brown, but it's pulling up more like silvery, like gray green if that makes any sense. So yeah, I still love the color, but it definitely looks a little bit different in the pan than when I spray it and put it on my lids. But I love it, so I'm going to be putting it on both of my eyes, obviously, <laughs> and keeping it in my lid space, and I'm going to blend it out. I'm keeping this literally like it looks like I'm doing a cut crease, but I'm not. Like I'm just keeping it in my natural lid area from outer to inner corners, so all along, and then I'll just blend it a little bit on the edge just to kind of fluff it through and so it's not harsh. And then taking the shade Slayer, which is a matte kind of gray black. I'm just going to be running that on my lower waterline just a little bit. In the end, you really won't see this color too much because I don't keep it so prominent. Um, it kind of just like fades away. But if you want it to be super noticeable, I would just add a little bit more when you're done with foundation and stuff. I just personally didn't. But this will just complete the look with the mascara and everything like that. And then I'll also bring that shade right into my crease area and bring it out just a little bit in like an outer motion towards the tail of my brow and just keep it in my crease area and then blend it out. So moving on over to the face and then we will get back onto the eyes in a little bit. I'm with the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and mine is in the shade Soft Beige. I am obsessed with this foundation right now. I saw it in the store and I was like, I think I need this in my life. It was literally like $6. I am so loving it right now. It comes on this little brush, which I thought was a little weird at first, but it's really cool to like dot it on the skin. And I find myself like actually really liking that part of it. Some of them are really hard, but this one doesn't like feel weird on my skin. So that applicator was fine for me. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz my face with some Fix Plus from MAC. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the Real Techniques Marble Sponge, which I love right now. I'm using the flatter edge to kind of press it into the skin. Just gives a better finish, in my opinion. And I did do one side of my face first, just to kind of see how I was liking the product. And as it was blending out really nicely, I dotted, as you can see, more, a lot more on my skin. And then I just do the same exact thing, blend it out. And I really do love this foundation. I did take photos after this. And it does not have a flashback. It's so good in photos and it's literally like so inexpensive and I'm obsessed right now. Love it. Taking the new CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer, I am in the shade Fair. I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. It does act a little bit more brightening and sorry I'm like out of frame. I don't know where I was looking. Like why I'm so low in this video, excuse that, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to put that underneath my eyes as well as down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. To blend it into my skin, I'm going to be using that same sponge from Real Techniques. Next up, I'm taking the new Jordana Glow & Go Strobing Stick. Mine's in the shade 01 Pearl Glow. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally, when I saw this, I was freaking out. <laughs> it's literally five bucks and it gives the best highlight for five dollars i'm not even playing it is so good i really could have gotten like the next shade up because this is a little bit light but i do love my light highlights so it was great i'm going to place it on my skin wherever i normally do my highlights so the tops of my cheekbones and i'm going to blend it out with this moda brush it is the oval brush 
and I love the way that it blends out. It is super creamy, which is nice, but it also doesn't slide throughout the day, which was really nice because who wants that? And then I'm also gonna go ahead and top it off with Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter and just put it right over top and it just gives the most bomb highlight, guys. I'm so obsessed. For some color back into the skin, I'm taking Pure Cameo Contour, and this is new for me. It's not like new on the market right now, but it's new for me, and I'm using it for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and use that bronzing shade and just put it right where my normal contour area is, as well as my temples, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose just a little bit to do a little bit on the sides, and my jawline. And I do like the consistency of it, and then I will go in and just blend it out. For a brow bone highlight, I'm taking that same Jordana Stick Highlighter and I'm going to run a little bit right underneath my brow. This will give an uplifted brow, kind of help out that arch and just make everything look super glowy, which of course <laughs> your girl loves. So I definitely got to go back and get more of these. They have three different shades in highlights and then three shades in contour. For Alright, now for lashes, I'm taking the Vlogger Series from iLore and this is the iLore Times and Lee Lashes in the style, so lovely. This will give a lot more of that lengthening vibe. And while I wait for my glue to get a tiny bit tacky, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Face HD Definition Powder, and mine is in the shade Creamy Natural. Instead of doing a translucent powder today, I decided to go for this. I've never used it before, and I really love the way that it makes my skin look. It does keep my skin looking matte and lock down that foundation, but it also doesn't make me look too matte because I have my highlights. Also, I'm so sorry that I was looking down or like not full frame in some of these clips. I guess I was just looking in my mirror, but for next video, we are moving that mirror because, girl, so sorry. Taking the new Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and run this on my lower lashes and just a little bit into the false ones with mine on the top. And you already know, I needed a little bit more highlight, clearly. So I'm just placing that right over top of the Jordana one just to kind of give it a little bit extra spice and set down the cream. Next up, I'm taking the new Wet n Wild Liquid Lip. And this is in the shade Nudie Patootie. And I'm going in and placing this all over my lips. As you will see at the end, it was a little bit too nude for me. So what I did was I just kind of put a clear gloss right over top and it kind of changed the look just a little bit because my natural lips kind of peek through. So I really do like this color, but on its own, I wouldn't wear it because it just kind of blends into my skin. That wraps up this makeup look. I did want to go ahead and try out some new products that were on the market right now. It always gets me super excited. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.